This is not like your typical anatomy class from medical school. This is more goal-directed anatomy, so you know exactly what surgeries you're gonna have, you know exactly what uh, exposures you're gonna be expected to know. So you go into the cadaver lab knowing exactly what you wanna achieve, what you wanna accomplish, and you go right, right straight for it. Experiences such as this are, are, are val very valuable because they make you a better technical surgeon with people actually explaining what I'm looking at and um, how to get to th that vessel or how to expose that portion of the aorta and, and what to put, you know, even in terms of retraction, how to retract things, simple things uh, that make a huge difference, I think, when you're doing a six hour operation. Having kind of time to take a step back from the chaos of the operating room and really tease out the finer points of safe, open aortic surgery. Um, and have an environment to kind of ask questions in a, in a non-punitive way has been very, very fruitful for me. The average vascular surgery resident or fellow in the United States finishes with only five open aortic aneurysm repairs during their training course. And so one of the uh, gaps in training uh, these days has been the uh, switch from open to endovascular surgery. Uh, and so those patients that do still require an open operation, uh, we're now asking the uh, youngest surgeons with the least experience uh, to do those toughest operations. In the OR, when you're, you know, scrubbed in, people don't necessarily always um, verbalize what they're thinking or what's the correct technique. And I mean, this is amazing that we have um, such great like vascular surgeons here that are willing to take the time to actually go over these technical aspects. Of course, having Dr. Ide and Dr. Lums available but also having group mates your your peers and people that you've seen along the way in the interview trail for vascular surgery and then to be able to again interact with them and participate on the dissection for example and having a chance to learn from each other and cross-pollinate there's there are zero reasons for you not to come i i, I think uh thinking if you already know your anatomy and you already know your exposures coming here you refine these skills and uh, a lot of the tips and tricks that you may not get from your attending in the OR, Dr. Ite and Dr. Lumsden just grant them to you. In our field of vascular surgery, with endovascular approaches becoming much more mainstream, um, open aortic surgery tends to kind of fall to the wayside. And I think in the grand scheme of providing the most effective and safe patient care, open aortic surgery is something that we need to have a mastery of.